Let's turn to Michael O'Hanlon now, senior fellow at Brookings, author of more than 20 books on war, defense, and diplomacy. You know, Michael, nobody's recognizing this land grab except for Putin. I mean, is this annexation just a PR move for him and his people, or what is it? Hey, Shepard. Well, yes, you're certainly correct. But he is, I think, trying to sketch out what he might suggest is an acceptable end game for him. And you combine that, which is a specific set of territorial objectives, with these nuclear threats that he continues and other Russians continue to hint at or even you know, make more than hints about. And he's trying to both simultaneously scare us, deprive the Europeans of energy. We've got these you know, explosions in Nord Stream 1 under the Baltic Sea. He's annexing this territory. He's trying to be very firm. But in a sense, he's also suggesting, you know what, if you let me have this land and uh, you don't want to have a nuclear war, maybe this is the compromise we make. Mm. And I think he's, you know, he's playing on our psychology. He's trying to set in motion a set of ideas, a set of dynamics that could point towards what for us would be an unacceptable compromise and for President Zelensky of Ukraine, an unacceptable compromise. But Putin's basically saying, if you don't like that compromise, you know, I'm going to keep making nuclear threats and who knows where this goes next. Mm. So I, I, I think you have to put all the pieces together and start to see what he's trying to do. It's a combination of intimidation and, you know, trying to claim these fat accompli yeah. and recognizing that he's got the losing hand, but he's a guy who likes to try to find a way to win even with a losing hand. I think that's what he's trying to do right now. It, it is what he does. And today, you know, he went on Russian TV and did something he almost never does. He admitted mistakes were made in, in the way that the draft is being carried out. He, he said they'll need to be corrected. Is, is, is the unrest getting to him? Do we know? I think it is. You know, I think he, he wants to believe that he's super popular among Russians. And let's face it, for most of his 20 years in power, he has been. And a lot of it's because of misinformation and playing on Russian paranoias. But he's good at it. And uh, he likes to be popular, and he also doesn't want mass unrest or huge numbers of Russians racing for the exits from the country. So he's trying to, you know, he doesn't say, I made mistakes. He doesn't say what the mistakes were. He doesn't really show any great regret. But, but, but he says just enough to maybe try to manipulate public opinion in a way that he can still control. But yes, he is somewhat worried about his own people. How could he not be? Michael O'Hanlon, as always, thank you.